Okay, so I've just sent a quick text message to the wildfire. You can see it brings it up straight along the bottom here, the uh, time and the person that sent the message to you, and you get a little bit of text as well, just so you can see what the message says. Uh, and you can also see the little envelope at the top there, uh, and also the flashing LED just to notify you of a new message. So if I just drag down to unlock the screen, you can see as well you've got a little number one there on your messages logo. So I can either tap that to go into the message, or I can drag down the notifications bar. Um, I've seen this before on previous Android devices, you can just drag the bar down on any notifications for emails or SMS or uh, updates from uh, the Android marketplace can be found in here. So if we just tap the message, you can see we can just open it straight away from the notifications bar and we can just tap to compose a new message. See, test, there we go. And then we can just tap this button here just to send it. So just tap it there and fire it off. And again, we have my own user image beneath the image of the person that sent it to me. Uh, the only annoying thing I've found on the wildfire is unlike my desire, uh, with the desire there's a little keyboard button down the bottom. If I tap that, it will take the keyboard away. Uh, there's no such button on the wildfire, so at first it can be annoying if you're trying to enter details. But there's no easy way to get the keyboard to uh, disappear, or at least no logical way. Uh, after a while of playing, I found that you can actually do that just by hitting the back key. Always takes the keyboard away. So, not as obvious as on the desire, but the functionality is still there if you just use the back button to uh, take the keyboard away. As you can see, there's also a little uh, paper clip here for attaching things like images and videos, uh, music, different bits and pieces like that, even calendar entries and uh, contacts as well. So the HTC uh, Wildfire has got a few new additions since the Desire. Uh, HTC have added this app sharing application. So basically if you download some apps in the market and you want to share them with other friends that have Android devices as well, you can just select them from the list. I mean we've only got one personally here but all your different apps that have been uh, downloaded will be listed and you can just tap on any one of them to share by any different means with your friends. So peep down the bottom here, that's Twitter. Uh, we've got SMS, email, Google email and Friendstream which is uh, via Facebook and Twitter. So you can share with any of those different means, you can share that with your friends so they can uh, go find the app themselves. So as you see when you select one it just uh, puts in a nice little message for you and then sends them the link to actually take them to the app to download it. So it doesn't actually send them the data for the app or the app itself, it just sends a link to make it easier for them to find it. So going back to the menu, uh, we can see as well we've got camera and the camcorder are now separate so uh, I mean you can still flick between them once you're in the camera um, but if you just specifically wanted to go to one over the other you can just go directly to it now because there's two separate icons. Uh, the flashlight we mentioned earlier and Friendstream as well which allows you to update your Facebook status and read other people's updates but oddly uh, no actual Facebook app pre-installed. We received three wildfires and none of them had Facebook uh, pre-installed. I mean obviously it's got the built-in support uh, via Friendstream but the actual application for more extensive Facebook use doesn't appear to be pre-installed this time which is strange. You can still obviously get it from the Android market though and it's a free app so there's no real issue with that. I guess perhaps they just uh, decided to make it so that you could decide whether you wanted it or not. Uh, anyway moving on we've got uh, the movies app that I've downloaded there, Quick Office, PDF Viewer, HTC's Twitter client Peep again uh, all the usual bits and pieces really that you'd expect to find, YouTube and the weather, this uh, transfer data thing for transferring data from an old phone and different bits and pieces. We've even got a fi uh, videos link separate now. I mean before uh, all your videos were in the gallery, um, but the gallery on my desire and I think a lot of the other devices before this one uh, was called Photos, which was a bit ambiguous, but now they've renamed that to Gallery. Uh, and in there you can find both photos and videos, you can see. You can also view Facebook and Flickr photos as well, which is quite handy. So the HTC Wildfire is designed to be a social networking device. Um, and although you don't have a Facebook app built in, as we mentioned earlier, uh, you do still log into your Facebook and Twitter accounts when you first start the device up. Uh, and that can all be viewed in the Friendstream app. Uh, also, because you've done this, you also get other things synchronized across from Facebook. So for example here, if we uh, go into a specific day in the calendar, you can see we've got uh, one of my Facebook contacts' birthdays here, which is quite handy, just so you don't forget. Um, also in doing this, it uh, synchronizes other data across. So for example here, for another man, we've got his uh, Facebook image. You can see a little Facebook logo at the bottom of the image there. And that's actually taken that from his profile account on Facebook. Same with the uh, mobile phone one there. Um, it will also take other information across, such as email addresses and different things too. 
So it's all very nice that it's integrated directly into the um, contact system. It makes it a lot easier to keep track of different contact details and your friends' birthdays and stuff. And uh, generally it makes it a lot easier to find contact images for your friends as well because it automatically synchronise them across if they have a Facebook account. Uh, it also intelligently notices what friends you've got on your Facebook account and on your contacts list and it will sort of intelligently suggest that they could be linked and then you can just go ahead and confirm to uh, actually link the accounts finally. Another handy feature of the Facebook integration on the HTC Wildfire is that when a call comes in from a contact that has a Facebook account linked to their contact card it will come up with, uh, if their birthday is coming up soon for example, it will tell you how long it is until their birthday, how many days um, and it will also show you beneath their contact image, their profile image, uh, the latest Facebook status update as well. So if they've just updated with something and then they give you a call, um, it will show that on the screen so you can maybe talk to them about it, which is quite handy. So just to recap, uh, the HTC Wildfire is a pretty nice device. Uh, it's a lower end device from HTC uh, running the Android 2.1 software. Um, it's got a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, the same as the Desire. Um, it's got a slightly smaller screen though at 3.2 inches and only a QVGA resolution so it's quite a low resolution display and it's not an AMOLED display. Um, it does still however have the 3.5mm headphone port as a desire and a uh, external speaker so it's just as good for music. Uh, it can still take uh, SD, micro SD cards up to 32GB in capacity um, but it has a slightly slower processor at 528MHz rather than the uh, gigahertz processor in the desire. But again, you still get the, the uh, optical joypad at the bottom there, and you still get the HTC Sense user interface. So all in all, it's a pretty good phone, seems to be pretty good value as well, considering it has most of the things from the Desire, but at a cheaper price point. So uh, I'm Russ Jeffers from MobileBurn and AndroidAuthority.com. Thanks for watching.